Boxing pros have revealed their pick for the Gervonta Davis versus Vasily Lomachenko fight. It's clear that Gervonta's team is targeting Lomachenko and the IBF rather than Shakur's WBC belt. Shakur Stevenson predicts Gervonta Davis versus Lomachenko after being a. Yeah, come on. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I'm being avoided. I'm, I'm the guy that uh, nobody wants to fight. Like, with all due respect to all the other fighters, but um, it's been too many people that done turned down to fight with me. And uh, honestly, I feel as though the biased fans and the biased people are giving these people a pass just because they don't like me, but. Speaking in an interview, the three-weight world champ from Newark said he doesn't respect the fact that his two fellow lightweight champions are set to enter talks. He said, honestly, I don't respect it. Just because these dudes have been at the same weight class for so long, and now that I'm on the horizon of getting a Lomachenko fight, everybody wants to talk about Tank and Loma. I feel like Lomachenko has one or two fights left in his career. I feel like they're taking the fight now because the time is now. Shakur Stevenson expressed frustration at being overlooked by Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko, who are now in talks for a potential fight. He criticized the timing, feeling that they are only considering the bout now that he's a serious contender in the division. Stevenson sees himself ready for both fighters and eager to prove himself against the best. He further said, It's pretty obvious that I'm being avoided. I'm the guy that nobody wants to fight. With all due respect to all other fighters, it's where too many people that turned down the fight with me. I feel like biased fans and biased people are giving these people a pass because they don't like me. As for his verdict on the fight, he still believes that Lomachenko can put up a good fight against the younger man, Davis, who has the momentum. He stated, I still think with Lomachenko's skills and stuff, it will be a good fight. I don't think Lomachenko is a pushover even though he is older. With the experience he's got, the knowledge, all it's going to boil down to is does Lomachenko have punch resistance to what Tank is throwing? Stevenson felt like other fighters were avoiding him, which made him frustrated. He believed biased fans were giving them a pass because they didn't like him. He still thought Lomachenko could do well against Davis in a fight because of his skills and experience, but he wondered if Lomachenko could handle Davis' strong punches. Following his eighth-round knockout victory against Frank Martin, Tank is currently ranked number one in Ring Magazine's lightweight division. After a masterful knockout victory over George Kembosos Jr. in May of last year, Vasily Lomachenko is ranked number two. In a recent interview with Bob Arum, he expressed his interest in arranging a fight between Vasily Lomachenko and Gervonta Davis. He said, We're up for that fight. Lomachenko is up for that. When we sit down, we will see if it's feasible, but Lomachenko would like to do that fight. Speaking about Shakur Stevenson as the next possible matchup for the Matrix, Bob Arum claimed that the matchup between Davis and Lomachenko would be the biggest box office draw. He said, Gervonta Davis is a very good, powerful kid, a good puncher, and he wasn't fighting a tomato can. We're up for that fight. Lomachenko's up for that. When we sit down, we will see if it's feasible, but Lomachenko would like to do that fight. Davis has established a position where he's good at the box office. A fight with Davis would produce more money than a fight with Shakur. Meanwhile, another potential match for Davis has been a unification clash with WBC lightweight champion Shakur Stevenson. However, Aram believes the recent performances of Lomachenko and Stevenson make Davis versus Lomachenko the more enticing fight for fans. Bob Aram further stated, at this point in time, Davis and Lomachenko is a bigger fight than Davis and Shakur, particularly after Shakur's last performance, which he won very easily, but it was certainly not entertaining. But Shakur will get his opportunity. He's a terrific fighter, but I think clearly right now, if Tank is available, and with Lomachenko having a good victory over Kambosos, that is the fight everyone wants to see. Stevenson is set to defend his title against Artem Harutyunyan on July 6th in Newark, New Jersey. A strong performance there could position him as the next contender for a significant bout against the winner of Davis vs. Lomachenko, with three belts on the line. When it comes to predictions, Tim Bradley thinks Vasily Lomachenko has the technical tools to defeat Gervonta Tank Davis if they meet in a lightweight unification contest in November. Boxing analyst Tim Bradley spoke to the media about the potential mega fight between Gervonta Tank Davis and Vasily Lomachenko in November. He said, It's a great matchup. I wish that matchup could have happened four or five years ago when Lomachenko was Lomachenko. However, I still think the experienced Lomachenko has what it takes. He can defeat Tank. He expressed his belief that Lomachenko's technical skills could give him the edge. Bradley acknowledged that the fight would have been even more intriguing several years ago when Lomachenko was at his peak, but he still maintained that Lomachenko's experience could lead to a victory over Davis. Bradley further said, He still has to steer clear of not getting caught with that big shot. If he does that, and keeps his back off the ropes, and he makes Tank pay when he's being inconsistent, 
and just tries to come behind that high guard. Bradley emphasized the importance of Lomachenko avoiding Davis's power punches, staying off the ropes, and leveraging Davis's defensive lapses to secure victory. He also mentioned about Lomachenko. He takes advantage of that by twisting on angles, staying low, and getting the hell out of the way of that uppercut, or anything that Tank brings. He has a chance of winning the fight. He has the gas tank. He has the knowledge, the experience, and the championship pedigree. Bradley highlighted Lomachenko's strategic advantages, including his ability to use angles, stay agile, and avoid Davis's power shots as key factors that could lead to his victory. Bradley defended Lomachenko's capability despite his age, asserting that if Lomachenko had one more impressive performance left in him, it must have happened against Tank Davis. He expressed, he has seen it all even at his old age, 36. And if he has one more fight left in him, one more good one left in him, it's got to be on that night against Tank. Everybody is counting him out already. He's too old. Okay, you say that all you want, but Tank has still got to get in there and land that shot. He countered skeptics who dismissed Lomachenko due to his age, emphasizing that Davis still needs to execute effectively to secure victory. I haven't seen any of these killers or young guns be able to do that. I For haven't. Sure. I mean, you had Lopez. He fought him when he was injured. Lopez got, he got thumpers. He can punch him. And he, and he didn't catch him and hurt him, you know? So I know Tank got that special power and he gonna have to land it against Loma. Will he land it? We gonna see. If he lands it, he won. Look, great, fantastic. He, he won the fight. But he still gotta go in there and prove that he's, he's, he's top level. Tim Bradley emphasized the rarity of fighters who can exploit Lomachenko's vulnerabilities, citing Lopez's inability to capitalize on opportunities against him despite his power. Bradley highlighted Davis's renowned punching ability, emphasizing the necessity for Davis to connect with his power shots to solidify his status at the top level of the sport. Stephen A. Smith is uncertain about his desire to witness a matchup between Lomachenko and Davis. The former NBA analyst contemplated the potential opponents Tank could face next, highlighting Lomachenko's shortcomings. Smith ultimately suggested why he believed the Ukrainian would struggle against Davis. Stephen A. D. Smith believes Davis would likely dominate Haney, considering how Ryan Garcia knocked Haney down three times in their fight. Smith also regards Vasily Lomachenko as a skilled boxer, but feels the two-time Olympic gold medalist is too small to challenge Davis. He believes that Davis is a master at penetrating his opponent's psyche. In addition, the Baltimore boxer is resilient and able to hold his own in the ring. Thus, Stephen A. Smith continued, my attitude is nobody has a shot against Gervon if you can't punch with power. So does Smith mean Lomachenko can't throw power? Not really, he said. That is not to say that Lomachenko can't punch with power, because we saw what he did to Cambosos, beat them out of him. But I'm saying to you, against Gervonta Davis, I don't know. Ahead of a potential blockbuster fight in the lightweight division, opinions from boxing analysts are shaping expectations. Smith sees Stevenson as the ideal candidate to face Gervonta Davis. Gervonta Davis is the number one box office attraction who I want to see him against. Smith said, Shakur Stevenson, with all that noise made about him, deserves a shot. I want to see Gervonta Davis in the ring with somebody perceived as having enough power to put him on the canvas too. That's what I want to see. I don't think Lomachenko gives us that. I think Shakur Stevenson might. Analysts like Stephen A. Smith are keenly observing the landscape and speculating on matchups that could define the sport's future. Meanwhile, Oscar De La Hoya has recently requested that Tank agree to a rematch at a fixed weight with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia told me he can't do 140. He would want the fight at 143, 144. So if anyone wants to fight him, give me a call at 144. We'll make the fight happen. Despite Ryan Garcia's history of testing positive for anti-doping, he has been seen in public recently. Over the weekend, Garcia made headlines when he entered the ring to congratulate Davis on defeating Frank Martin. He wore a t-shirt with a dual message expressing his desire for a rematch. The duration of Garcia's suspension is unclear. Nevertheless, his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, has been discussing the possibility of a rematch. Oscar De La Hoya said that King Rai is willing to fight at his weight and encouraged Devin Davis to contact his agent to persuade him to accept a rematch. He said, but I have to sit down with Ryan. I have to sit down with his team and then come up with a plan. And then we go from there. De La Hoya emphasized the need for discussions with Ryan Garcia and his team to formulate a plan before proceeding further with the rematch negotiations. Davis reacted to Ryan Garcia's ringside challenge with passion, affirming his readiness for a rematch after his knockout win against Frank Martin. He said, oh, Ryan, he's crazy. He's completely crazy for a rematch, Davis said with a smirk, dismissing Garcia's suggestion of fighting at 142 pounds instead of 135 pounds. Davis asserted his confidence, stating, if he wants to fight me again, I'll kick his ass again. 
He left no doubt about his readiness to defend his record. Robert Garcia feels that Vasily Lomachenko won't be afraid of Gervonta Davis if the two are to fight. Garcia feels that Gervonta is unstoppable right now and feels his power will be too much for Lomachenko if they fight. Can Lomachenko beat a, a Gervonta? I think five or six years ago, I would pick Lomachenko right away. Right now, it might be too hard to, I, th I, th I think, you know, at, at his age uh, and uh, his size also, because he's not that big of a lightweight, I think I think I'd have to I'd, I'd have to favor Tank. His power, you know, his is is just unbelievable. Robert Garcia talked about the potential fight between Lomachenko and Tank Davis, expressing his views on how Lomachenko could approach the bout. Lomachenko is the one that will be in great shape, Garcia further stated. So if he fights smart and knows how to win the first few rounds, and then fights smart the rest of the rounds, then there's a chance he could pull it off. You know, Loma's great. He's a very smart man but I just think Tank's power is going to be too much. Robert Garcia's statement highlighted the strategic challenge Lomachenko faces against Davis, citing Davis's formidable power as a decisive factor in potential matchup dynamics. And Loma's so skillful, man, that he could do it for 12 rounds, but when you have somebody like Tank in front of you, it's not gonna be easy. Rolly Romero predicts a showdown between Tank Davis and Lomachenko, anticipating a high-stakes clash, he said in an interview when asked about his support for Lomachenko. Do you think Lomachenko will come to win fight against I'm, Gervonta? I'm not a homosexual man. <laughs> I, I'm really not a homosexual man. You think I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't support that shit. I, I really don't support that shit, man. I'm not a homosexual man. In a recent interview, shared his prediction for a potential bout between, expressing strong confidence in Davis's ability to dominate. When asked about Davis's chances in the fight, Romero bluntly stated, "He will murder him." Tank recently expressed doubts about the potential for significant change in the boxing world. Tank commented, I mean, that would never happen because everybody doesn't agree with each other. Everybody is not on the same page. Tank Davis commented on the challenge of facing Southpaw fighters, highlighting their scarcity compared to Orthodox fighters. I think Southpaw people is harder to fight than uh, Orthodox fighters. Why is that? There's not too many of them. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of Southpaws coming from the amateurs. Now, a lot of amateurs in Southpaws. I don't know why, they probably training them. Particularly in the amateur ranks. He acknowledged the difficulty in preparing for Southpaws due to their less common stance, suggesting that their training might differ from orthodox fighters. Pauli Malignaghi analyzed the potential matchup between Tank Davis and Lomachenko, highlighting Lomachenko's usual challenge of facing larger lightweights and the skill required to compete at that level. He said, Lomachenko constantly fights these big lightweights who are way bigger than him. He's got to outskill them to a different level. He's fighting guys in a weight class that he doesn't belong in. Well, Tank Davis is actually a former 130 pounder. We just talked about how he weighs two pounds less. You're getting a fight where Lomachenko is finding a guy more his size at lightweight, which hasn't happened. Malignaghi contrasted Davis's background as a former 130 pounder, noting the closer size matchup this fight could provide for Lomachenko in the lightweight division. He further added, I mean, all the lightweights Lomachenko has been fighting have all been way too big. Every time he steps in the ring, these guys look like they're in different weight classes. Yet he still was able to unify three out of four major world titles in the weight class, which was amazing in and of itself after doing what he did in the lighter weight classes. He acknowledged Lomachenko's impressive ability to unify titles despite facing bigger opponents and speculated on the significance of this bout as a lucrative opportunity and a natural progression in boxing's generational shift. He added, but I think, you know, yeah, you're getting a little bit of an old Lomachenko, but the name Lomachenko still carries a lot of weight. I think it's a big, big payday for Lomachenko. And this is also sort of the right scenario. It's the scenario boxing gives you. The young lion takes out the former lion as he's getting older. Sort of the natural transition of things. Malignaghi's analysis underscores the intriguing dynamics of size and skill in the potential Davis versus Lomachenko bout, emphasizing the financial and symbolic stakes in this clash of generations within boxing. When questioned about Frank Martin's preparation for his upcoming fight, Tank Davis responded candidly during a press conference. He expressed skepticism, stating that Martin's style differed from other opponents he faced, each presenting unique challenges. When asked if Frank Martin had prepared him for his next fight, Tank Davis said in a press conference, No, I don't think so. They all fight differently. One's a boxer. One tries to stay in front of you. Frank was somewhat a boxer, but they all fight differently. You know what I mean? It's cool. I approach every fight differently. 
so I don't think it helped me for them guys. Davis emphasized his adaptable approach to fights, indicating that Martin's strategy did not significantly contribute to his readiness against diverse opponents. Some experts believe the matchup between Tank Davis and Lomachenko should have taken place earlier. Teddy Atlas expressed this sentiment in an interview, stating, I wanted to see him and Tank Davis a couple of years ago. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. Kind of like we talked about with, uh, same thing we talked about with Canelo, that if he's ever gonna fight Benitez, it better be soon. If this fight's gonna happen, it has to happen soon because Lomachenko again, the clock is still ticking. Atlas highlighted the urgency for the fight to occur soon, echoing concerns about timing similar to discussions around other notable matchups in boxing. As the boxing world eagerly awaits a potential clash between Gervonta Davis and Vasily Lomachenko, experts reflect on the timing of this matchup. Many feel the fight should have happened earlier highlighting the urgency due to Lomachenko's advancing career. The question now looms, will these two formidable fighters finally meet at the right moment to settle the debate in the ring? Their styles and strengths promise an electrifying showdown, but time will tell if this dream matchup becomes a reality, offering fans a spectacle they've long anticipated.